let's talk about um, some of the red flags when hiring. You know, what tips can we share with our listeners in terms of red flags? With red flags, you, you, you recognize them really quickly as a recruiter. So, you know, one of the red flags for me is if it's really hard to get in touch with a candidate, that's a, that's a, that's a red flag straight away. Um, if I'm working on a role with somebody, you know, candidates normally come back to me within a few hours of me contacting them. So if it's longer than that or if it's more than 24 hours, it's a red flag. Another red flag is um, reference checks. I think if you're not able to get a hold of references or you're not able to, um, val- you know, validate who the referee is, so, you know, candidates don't want to provide over contact details, those sorts of things, they're red flags. Not wanting to be part of employment screening is also a red flag as well. Um, you know, depending on the type of role, there'll be different levels of, you know, um, employment screening required. So, you know, at a basic level, I think all organisations need to be doing reference checks. They need to check the qualifications that an employee set on their CV is actually their qualification mm. and, they're, and they're verifying their employment history so that the dates, the people, the roles that they've done are actually um, correct. So at a minimum, those three, three things, um, you know, should be checked. And if someone doesn't want to participate in those three things, which is just validating what's on your CV, I think that's a red flag. 